We'll have a little mariachi music in the background. Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey today, San Fernando Mission Cemetery. Well, we're doing the cemetery too. <laughs> for this video, we travel to Hollywood to see two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And then we travel north to the San Fernando Mission Cemetery to pay our respects to the day the music died. At the San Fernando Mission Cemetery, we will be paying our respects to Richie Valens. Please tell a friend about us and be sure to subscribe. It was February the 3rd, 1959. Three up and coming young musicians that are very popular in the rock and roll die in a plane crash. Eventually this becomes known as the day the music died. Buddy Holly was 22 years old at the time. J.P. Richardson, also known as the Big Bopper, was 28 years old, and Richie Valens was 17 years old. While on tour, their tour bus broke down in Iowa. So Buddy Holly chartered a plane for him and his group, and with their tour members getting frostbitten, sick, and having dirty clothes combined with very little sleep, they decided to take a plane. Originally, it was just going to be Buddy Holly's group, but Waylon Jennings gave up his seat to the Big Bopper, who was extremely ill with the flu. Then Tommy Alsup lost a coin toss to Richie Valens, and that is how it ended up being the three big stars that ended up losing their lives along with the pilot. Buddy Holly received a posthumous star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and it is located on the sidewalk outside the Capitol Records building. Ah, the reason we're here, Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly is right outside of Capitol Records. Capitol Records building. The star is located at 1750 North Vine Street in the heart of Hollywood. Buddy Holly is actually buried in Lubbock, Texas. And here's a picture of his grave. J.P. Richardson does not have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and is buried in Beaumont, Texas at Forest Lawn Cemetery. Richie Valens also received a posthumous star on the Walk of Fame, and his star is located at 6733 Hollywood Boulevard. There's something about Don't these. The bells over there. Yeah, you want to go in there? I don't huh? care to go in there. See what's on the menu. Since this Taco Bell was right near Richie's start, we had to show it. The only Taco Bell with a full bar. A pretty cool Taco Bell. Taco shop. Be cool. I'd like to get one of those shirts. Then we headed north to the San Fernando Mission Cemetery. Richie Valens was born in 1941 in the town of Pacoima, which is very close to where the cemetery is located. We searched for Section C, Lot 248, to find his grave. Richie Valens was one of rock and roll's first Latino superstars and his work has inspired countless musicians around the world. In June of 1987, the film La Bamba was released, which told the life story of Richie Valens, with Richie being played by Lou Diamond Phillips. Got all the, all the pennies for good luck. The day the music died. February the 3rd, 1959. Richie's mother passed away in October of 1987 and is buried alongside Richie. In 1971, Don McLean recorded the song American Pie. It was the number one U.S. hit for four weeks in a row in 1972. The repeated phrase in the song is the day the music died and it refers to the plane crash in 1959 
To this day, that plane crash and the deaths of the three musicians is still referred to as the day the music died. We hope that you enjoyed seeing this video as much as we enjoyed paying our respects to these artists. If you enjoyed this vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like, it lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.